Dear investor, Prashanjit Paul here. Today, I am going to share the three points checklist that will help you to avoid permanent loss of capital in the stock market. The fact is, during 2018 to 2019 alone, stock price of more than 200 companies crashed by 90% plus, causing loss for millions of investors. Now, historically, while a stock price corrects by 90% plus, it is very unlikely for the stock to recover even in the next 8-10 years. So, we can assume such 80-90% crash in the stock price as a permanent loss of capital. Now, not only in 2018-19, even in any 3-4 years period, you will find hundreds of stock price crashed by such 90% plus and then later turns zero. So now, I am moving into the slides to reveal the 3 points checklist first and then why these three points are so effective and then obviously with real life examples the accuracy of that three points checklist so let's have a look so here is the three points checklist now stocks fulfilling all the three criteria won't result in permanent loss of capital or such 90 percent plus downfall in the stock price so what are those three criteria the first one zero death or in other words, death to equity ratio equal to zero. Number two, five years total cash flow from operation divided by five years total profit after tax should be more than one. It means five years total CFO divided by total profit should be greater than one. Number three, five years average return on equity or ROE should be more than 14% and not on a declining trend now let me tell you that if you are a new investor don't know what these roe cfo etc are or how to calculate these things no need to worry subscribe to the full video tutorial series in which i have described in all those things in very easy language and also how to calculate it from where you can get those things and all now let's have a look what's so special on these three parameters Actually, these three parameters are doing 15 essential checks on management quality, business efficiency, solvency, profitability and also corporate governance check as follows. So let's have a look what are those 15 essential checks. First of all, zero death means promoters share pledged shareholding must be zero. Promoters can pledge only if there is a death or if the company takes loan then only promoters can pledge shares. If there is no death, then there's no requirement of pledge. Number two, zero pledged share means there's no risk of margin call trigger or invocation of pledge. Many prominent shares you will find crashed by 80-90% after margin call trigger or after forced selling by the lenders. Number three, zero death means zero interest expense, which means even during the challenging business environment or even during the down cycle of the business, the company won't take a big hit on profitability. Number four, zero death translates very high interest coverage ratio, which is also one of the efficiency parameter. Number five, zero death means the company would never default in interest payment. Lenders can never attach company's asset or can't drag the company into bankruptcy court nowadays you will find many companies those stock price corrected by 80 40 80 90 percent you will find those companies are dragged to the bankruptcy court ncl lt number six cfo profit test ensures that the profit figures are most likely not manipulated see because profit is converted into cash now remember corporate governance check is a very important one now many companies which fails in comp corporate governance or later in future corporate governance issue pops out you'll find most of those companies we won't pass on this cfo profit test i mean if the profit numbers are manipulated then most likely the profit won't be converted into cash and as a result cfo profit test will fail number seven CFO profit test ensures real cash flow in company's bank account which is in line with the reported profit because profit may not always result in real cash. Number 8. CFO profit test also ensures that customers are paying on time. Hardly there are any default from the 
customer side. Number nine, CFO profit test ensures that there is no stress in working capital cycle. Many company shut their shop resulting such 80-90% crash in the stock price due to the elongated working capital cycle. Number 10, CFO profit test ensures management efficiency. If the company pass in CFO profit test, we can assume that the company is collecting payment on the correct time and it means they are doing right business at the right persons with correct terms which is resulting profit into cash flow number 11 the company must have good credit rating if they pass on cfo profit and roe test number 12 high roe and zero death this combined test ensures that business should must have high profitability it means high profit margin number 13 high roe and zero death ensures higher asset turnover i mean efficient utilization of the asset now uh, you might find these things difficult like how asset turnover ratio working capital etc are related with the business efficiency if you heard those terms for the first time or if you don't know uh, what these terms are then you might find those things difficult but again nothing to worry if that is the case simply subscribe for the full tutorial series in this full tutorial series i'll uh, describe in details like what are the significance of such technical terms like asset turnover working capital roe and how those things are very much important and how one can pen i mean interpret between the numbers so uh, number 14 uh, if the company manipulate their books of accounts then they can't pass on roe and cfo profit test finally business having any kind of corporate governance issue must fail in any one of these three tests so all the 15 checks so all these checks related to multiple uh, things like business efficiency uh, manage corporate governance and all all these 15 day, day checks which normally takes few days can be effectively done within just 10 minutes using the three points checklist my 10 years of experience suggests that any company having any kind of corporate governance issue must fail in any of these three tests or maybe in all this uh, three point checklist okay so let's move forward for the examples okay so obviously no need to believe on my words obviously you can ask where's the proof of your three point test how can i believe that these three points check are actually checking 15 essential parameters well let's verify yourself here is the list of very well known companies those stock price crashed by 90 percent plus within the last two three years and caused permanent loss of capital obviously due to the space constant i can't present all the 200 names but there are many names in this slide and also in the next slide so now let's have a look the first company this is cox and king you know cox and king is more than 250 years old very famous travel operators they often uh, conduct many various international tours and also domestic tours and that's also 250 years old company a very reputed name in the travel industry unfortunately the price chart if you follow the price chart of cox and king you will find in 2019 alone the stock price crashed by 90 percent plus so let's have a move at the price chart and all the details of cox and king so this is the price chart of Cox and King and I am sourcing it from a website called redstar.in. So the price chart is from 2013-14 to 2019. What you will find from 2013 to 2018, there was uh, nothing wrong with the stock price. Rather the stock moved at the range that stock moved from 257 then uh, 260, 270. All on a sudden, after March 2019, even in March 2019, the stock price at 160. And from March 2019, 162. In December 2019, the stock price is at just only 1.5 rupees only. So now let's have a look whether there are any indication for any investors during 2017 or 18. See, after the stock price crash, anyone can say anything. So that's not my point. My point is before this crash, before 2019, so if you are analyzing the stock in 2017 or in 2018, while the price was doing good, the price was at 250, 260, the price was doing reasonably good. So if you are analyzing the stock during 2017 or 2018, 
I mean, do you get any early indication using this three points check? Let's have a look. So for the for this purpose, I'll consider I'll take the figures up to March 2018. So let's uh, suppose that you are analyzing the stock as on March 2018. Now let's move for the financial ratios. So this is the financial ratios, and here is the till March 2018 numbers. So our first check in the three points checklist is debt to equity ratio. So let's have a look how debt to equity ratio moved till March 2018. You will find the debt to equity ratio was not that's that's not zero even that's very much higher that's even more than one in all these years 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the debt to equity ratio was 1.49, 1.71, 1.42, 1.22. So obviously that fails our the first point of our three points checklist. Now this is the ROUR return on capital employed. Sorry, return on equity. So even on the ROE front, you will find the average last five years ROE is very much below to 14%. Uh, and this is also very inconsistent. This is the ROE figures in March 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. You will find that is the average is nowhere close to 14% and that's very inconsistent figure. So that's enough indication much before the stock price crash. Even the person who is analyzing the stock at March 2018 can get the indications. This simply uh, even at 2018 alone, the stock is not, not only in 2018 or 2017, or in any time in the past, the stock is not simply fulfilling the three points checklist. And thus, back in 2017 or 18, you have the enough early indications to avoid the loss. So if you have the three points checklist back in 2017 and 18, most likely you didn't invest in the stock and most likely you won't experience this kind of crash that happened actually in 2019 alone. So now, not only this uh, Cox and King, Il, uh, CG power, CG power is the Crompton and Grievous power. So Crompton and Grievous is also a very well-known uh, name. So you can even apply this three point check in all these companies hmm. and not after the crash, before the crash, you will find before the stock price crash, you have enough indication just using this three point checklist in all these companies. So there are very well-known names, Reliance Communication, Reliance Capital, then Reliance Power, JP Associate, Manpasan Beverage, Videocon, Jain Irrigation. Jain Irrigation is uh, India's largest micro irrigation company. Then uh, PC Jewelers, Unitech, Reliance Naval, 8K Miles uh, Software, Vakrangi. So all these are very well-known names. Uh, and you can apply this three points check in all these companies. Hmm. You will find either this company uh, doesn't satisfy in any one of these uh, three points or maybe it fails in one point or two points or whatever. Now, apart from these companies, there are around 200 stocks which crashed by 80-90% plus in 2018 19 alone. Apart from that, there are many companies like Kingfisher Airlines that that stock, I mean, after crashing 80-90% plus, the Kingfisher Airlines is no more listed in the stock market, causing 100% plus, 100% permanent loss of capital. Obviously, uh, due to the uh, space constraint, I can't able to display all these 200 stocks. Now, but if you come across with any company or in the past, if you lost such 80% plus or 90% plus in any of your personal uh, equity holding, just apply those three points, you will find the company won't pass in all these three parameters. Now remember, this three points checklist can easily detect any probable future corporate governance issues within just 10 minutes. But it doesn't mean that all the companies, those are not qualifying in three points test all are fraud. See, stock analysis is not so easy and straightforward. Three points test or any 10 minute test alone can't offer any money making idea. However, it is uh, just that the several years of my experience is suggesting that any stock that crashed by such 80-90% or in any stock where corporate fraud or any governance issue pops out, such stocks offer early indication. With three points test, you can easily find such early indication and you can easily avoid such companies that can save your hard earned money. So now I am moving forward for uh, my closing comments.
Remember, this three-point checklist is to avoid permanent loss of capital in the stock market. It doesn't mean that whatever the stocks qualifying these three points, all will make huge profit. If making money was so easy, just a 10-minute tax, then everyone around us would have been rich today. There's not even the necessity of watching this video. So making money is never easy from any profession and also from the stock market. But with due attention, you can surely avoid the permanent loss of capital in the stock market. There is a famous saying that you can either learn from your own mistake or from the mistake of others. Now, our life is too short to do all the mistakes, lose all money, gather experience and then again uh, earn money in the stock market, isn't it? Now you will have a golden opportunity to learn from my 10 years of experience in the stock market. Not only my 10 years experience, in the last 8 years I had interacted with thousands of investors while offering equity advisory service and I have noticed many common mistakes among investors. So in this video tutorial series, I am going to share you many secrets, many common things that will surely help you to avoid loss and making money in the stock market. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe now to brighten up the huge wealth creation opportunity from the stock market that awaits for you.